This video will show you how to use Unity Timeline with the Dialog System for Unity. The Dialog System uses text-based sequencer commands because they're compact and they allow you to stay in the flow of writing text. But it's also possible to use interactive sequence editors like Unity Timeline with the Dialog System. This is the scene we'll be working with. There are two main ways to use Timeline. The first is to use a timeline inside a sequence. Normally, you'll write sequencer commands like this one, which moves a character. Let's say you have a much more complex sequence, so you've used Timeline to set it up. For example, this timeline plays an animation and activates a game object. The Timeline's Playable Director is on a game object named Emmy Timeline. To play that inside a dialog entry node sequence, we'll use the Timeline Sequencer command. The first argument is the mode, and we'll specify Play, and the second argument is the game object that contains the Playable Director. This Sequencer command will play the Timeline defined on Emmy Timeline. And this is what it looks like again. The Timeline command supports many more options. You can see them all in the documentation. The second way to use Timeline takes the opposite approach. You can control an entire conversation from inside a single timeline. To do this, you'll use two types of tracks. The first is a conversation track, which you'll use to start the conversation. The Start Conversation clip also allows you to specify an entry to jump to, otherwise it starts at the beginning. The second track is a Continue Conversation track. This uses Continue Conversation clips that tell each dialog entry node to progress to the next. In this example conversation, I set the default sequence to Wait for Message Forever so that dialog entry nodes won't progress unless there's a manual Continue message. You can find both of these track types in the pixelcrushers.dialogsystem submenu of Timeline. Ignore this next to last track. I accidentally left it in for testing. I'll leave the Timeline window visible so that you can see when it hits each Conversation Continue clip. And this is what it looks like without that window in the way. If you prefer to use a different interactive sequencer, the dialog system also supports Cinema Director and Slate. This approach allows you to mix and match text-based and interactive sequence editing to find your optimal workflow. 